while mere custodial care can never be enough, a favorable environment and human comforts are essential in any therapeutic system. For most, meals are served cafeteria style. Food is plentiful and good, an investment in patient health. Just baking the bread for 3,000 people is a man-sized job. Above all, though, these kitchen chores offer patients work, the therapy of busy hands. The laundry. More chances for patients to focus on specific realities outside themselves. First step along the road that leads to recovery and release. The patients tell you the power plant smokestack is 525 feet tall. They seem to take a personal pride in it. Maybe because power is so important here. The sick must have heat and light. There's water to be pumped and food cooked and laundry wash. <laughs> Patients must be housed, and today's new hospital buildings center on human needs and comfort. Whether they provide living quarters or treatment facilities, whether they're for convalescents, older people, the tubercular, veterans, or occupational therapy, these modern structures are part of a long-range integrated plan to improve conditions for all who live within these grounds. Special units provide homes for nurses and attendants. Well, they too play a vital role in helping patients to regain health. In addition to the regular staff, Student nurses come here to learn to recognize and care for the mentally ill. There are lakes for fishing. The hospital farm cuts operating costs, provides fresh truck and dairy products, and the familiar scenes, the work, help make patients from rural areas feel at home. come from all sorts of homes, these patients, all kinds of backgrounds. But somewhere along the line, life became too much for them. Some apply for voluntary admission to the hospital, one of the three procedures by which residents may enter a state mental institution in Oklahoma. Many former patients return of their own free will when new troubles assail them. All applicants for voluntary admission are held a minimum of 15 days for examination before they may be released. are certified for admission by two competent medical examiners. This is the second method by which patients enter the hospital under the terms of Oklahoma's mental health law. The majority, however, come by court order, committed either by a judge or a six-man jury. This was the case with Fred Clanton. He 
gets a blood test, part of the medical examination given each patient on admission. There's a chest x-ray also, and a spinal fluid test. Finally comes a neuropsychiatric check, designed to bring out data related to the patient's mental disorder. They're turning my wife in obey against me. Taking a hard time. Why do you think they're doing you this way? Well, I've been working on this for years. They don't know it, but I'm on to them. You see, if they can just get Betty to team up with them, then they'll all fight it together. A clinical psychologist gives Fred a variety of specialized tests in order to make possible a more accurate evaluation of his total personality. Occupational therapy, 
reinforce shock treatment, help Fred to draw away from his feelings of antagonism and suspicion, move closer to reality. Warren is always an enemy of the mentally ill. Now improving, Fred begins to take increasing interest in the wide variety of recreational facilities. Patients enjoy movies just as much as anyone. And a hot game of dominoes or pool or ping pong is always fun. The sewing room is popular. And a permanent wave may serve as a milestone of self-respect for many women in spite of the bubble gum. mean so much to so many. Improvement brings added privileges, a more normal life. What could be better than an afternoon softball game? Friday dances give Fred a chance for contact with women on a social plane, help to spark his dormant pride. Religious services in the chapel offer inspiration. Then, there's the happy day when Fred is granted grounds privileges. Hi, Doctor. As a matter of fact, I feel like going back to work. Well, uh, you have to stay around the hospital for a few days. Maybe we can find you something to do here. Oh, how would you like to help us out around the hospital here? I don't know as much I can do or not. We have quite a few jobs that uh, you could, might do. For example, you might uh, work up the dairy, you might help out in the garden, you might uh, work over in the cafeteria, or we might even be able to get you on the ground crew. Ground crew? Yes, sir. I like that a lot, I really would. Oh, that's swell. You just report out there in the morning and everything will be all right in the morning? Yes, sir. What a difference it makes. At last, Fred can be outside once more, working, enjoying the sun and the seasons. There are the days when visitors come, the chance to talk again with Betty, and George comes too. And now, somehow, he doesn't seem quite as bad as he did before. not too long till the psychiatrist decides that Fred can try it for a while at home. He talks with Betty and with George, helps them to understand that they too have vital roles to play in aiding Fred to adjust successfully to the world outside. Then the words pass to the switchboard to call Fred in.
One thing I know, these people here, this place and time have given my life back to me.